Okay, here we are live in Milo and Daddy's garage, and it's Take Apart Tuesday, but we got some catching up to do. What is in the old crusty box, Milo? Tell us. Uh, Take Apart sewing machine, practically. Okay, let's take the lid off. And. <gasps> good. Take that off the side, and we got ourselves an old domestic sewing machine that we have already taken apart. Mm -hmm. It took us a couple days to get a lot of that stuff apart there, didn't it? Uh, want to see something? Yeah, so we got some stuff in this box. Yeah, you're going to show us? What did we learn about this sewing machine? Well, well, it's basically really cool. Yeah? What's the cool parts of it? This thing right here. Yeah, so when you turn the crank, what happens? Oh yeah, nothing right now because we disconnected it. But this thing is pretty cool because it, it looks a lot like what's inside of a car. All right? Okay, so that made this the needle go up and down here. And what are your favorite parts out of this box? Favorite things that we took off from the sewing machine. What's the cool stuff? Nothing? Yep, the belt, right? The needle assembly, that's yeah. pretty cool. We got a pretty cool motor that works. We can plug it in and we can hook it back up to the belt. That works with the push. Wood. Right. This thing. That's the light cover. And we also got a light. All right, and that was like last week or the week before. Want to see something cool? Oh yeah, he's gonna lift it up. All right, there's the bottom. There's a lot of stuff we couldn't get off because it's like riveted and really in there. All right, moving on. All right, what did we take apart tonight? For Take Apart Tuesday, on this stormy night, what did we take apart? Where are all these pieces from? Pick that piece up with the chipboard on it and show us the other side. It is a microwave, microwave. yes. Now, uh, for our viewers, anybody who's watching this, I want you to point to the most dangerous part of this whole assembly here so that if anybody thinks they can take apart a microwave, they need to know to not touch what. Do you recognize it? It's right in front of you. What do you not touch? Yes. yes. I know as he touches it. So that's called a mega capacitor. Oh, we and also I'm touching it. Right now, because we discharged it. That's right, we discharged it. What's it connected to? What's a big blocky thing? A gigantic transistor. No. I mean, not a transistor, a transformer. Transformer, gigantic transformer. Okay, can you pick that up for us? Show us how heavy it is. <sighs> yeah, super heavy, mega transformer. All right. And look, if you also look like the... Look right here. Look, it says 120 volts. There you go. So it's a 120 right. volt thing. All right. So um, what what about that that little motor there? Oh, this. Yeah. What what, what did that motor do? What's it What does it do? Um. Wait, no, no. I was thinking of this one. What did this motor do? Oh. What did that motor do? Yeah, it put. They look the same. Right. The one with the metal what bit. What did it do? Well, it was connected to this thingy. Yeah. And that was connected to the plate. So, that motor is the plate turner inside the microwave. Pretty cool, huh? And also this. Ugh. Yeah. Look. Yeah, that connects there. Good. And that connects in there. Now we read the numbers in the back of the motor. What do the numbers tell us? What voltage is it? The green numbers? 120? 120. 120 V. How many HZ? I don't even see it. It's right next to it. That's all right. We can move on. Okay. No, it's 120. Where is it? All right. So... It's 120 V, oh, wait. 60 HC, which is 60 hertz, which is standard. And so we know that if we put uh, 
120 volts on it, it will spin. And how many RPMs? How many rotations per minute? It was a really small number, right? RPM. Oh, RPM. Six. Six RPM. So that means it spins around six times in one minute. How about this right. one? This one is 120 volts again. That's about it. Yep. Okay, moving on to the cool stuff. We got uh, capacitors. Six. These oh, little jobbies, bobs. yeah. These little jobbies are called thermostats. So some of these are on thermostats, and some of these are on off thermostats. So some of them, like, like this one, or this one, or this this one. There's so many different thermostats here. Some of them stay on as long as it's not too hot. And some of them kick off if it gets too hot. So. We don't know which one's which because they really don't have numbers on them. So all we can do is hook up some voltage to it and see what happens. Um, but there was about five of these little thermostats in there. A lot like a car thermostat that controls your temperature. Some light bulbs, some wires, some ceramic resistors. These and... and switches. Oh yeah, show us the switches. Well, they are... These are the oh, door switches. Wait, cool. They have 250 volts. Yeah, so they can they can handle 250 volts. Let's just show them. Let me see real quick. There's a button. Like a, like a, yep. There's a button. A button. There's a button switch. Ba, 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 so if there's current going through one of these top or bottoms, it will, if the button is pushed, it'll let the current go through the other wire. If it's not pushed, the current can't go through. Oh. Alright, cool stuff. Cool fan. Right? Cool fan. What about that thing underneath your knee? What's that thing? Nope, doesn't hurt. What's that, what's that big silver box thing? What's that? What does that do? Uh, sends out microscopic wavy things. That's right. It's the microwave generator. Microwave. Yep. Yeah. And that's what heats your food. Now, we got to be really careful with that, too, not to open it, because there's stuff inside there that is toxic. So we're just looking at it, and we're being careful with it, not to break it or do anything else with it. Um, what about the chipboard? Can oh, you yeah, name anything on that chipboard to impress anybody viewing? What are the little things? Resistors. Resistors. Good. What else we got? Here's a transformer. Good. Here. Are these also transformers? Or is uh, this transformer? Those are uh, voltage <laughs> regulators. I is believe. this a transformer? Nope. Those are uh, actually high voltage switches and regulators. Um, so what about this big long black thing? What's that? Uh, that's just a big microchip. Oh. It's the it's the thought what, controller. What about this thing? That's a ribbon that goes to the front display. It's a green one. Yeah, it's a green ribbon that, that goes to the touch display. And this guy right here is a you know what those are? Don't rip it. You know what that is? It's a a battery. Like a battery, but it's a capacitor. <laughs> it's just a smaller one. Here's another battery and another battery. Yep, another capacitor. Ugh. All right, and then we got the big fan. This is the fun oh, fan. Oh, they're blue. They're blue. Yep, yep. And this one's black. We got this cool, uh, cool air disperser thing, which is gonna which connect to this. And we got a lot of fun stuff. So, what do you like about Take About Tuesdays? Oh, and also there are these green resistors that I really like. Yeah. Right there. Yeah. What if are the you colors? Look really closely. See? Oh, those are cool. What do the colors mean on the resistors? What do the stripes numbers. mean? Numbers. They mean numbers, right? They mean numbers, numbers of resistance. And they multiply too, right? Yep. Yeah. So you have to read the colors if you want to know how much the resistor is supposed to resist. And, um,. All right, so what do you like about Take Apart Tuesdays and checking this stuff out? What do you like about it? Seeing what's inside? Oh, and also, don't get confused because you see the, you see one of those last colors? Mm -hmm. Those last colors? Because in this game, those last colors... It don't they don't mean anything. Oh, okay. So what's the game you play? That's Mo. A, Mo. It's called Mo's Resistance. Yeah. So you have to 
you, you learn about the colors of the resistors and then you um, try to match the number of uh, resistance in ohms to the color. Oh, and the omega sign at the end doesn't mean a thing no. if you want to try it sometime. No, omega means ohms, goofball. <laughs> I mean, I mean, like when you do it doesn't mean anything. Right, it just means the number. Yeah. Okay. So I think what uh, I was trying to get to was that Milo is using, he's in charge of taking these things apart. He uses the tools. I help him on some stuff. I make sure he stays safe. And we talk about the stuff that's inside. And we keep a lot of this stuff in boxes. Oh, look at this giant thingy. And uh, sometimes it's we... It's a thingy. Yeah, yeah, that's another round, that's a round capacitor. A and big round he's obviously really into this, and uh, you know we 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 just uh, oh no, so this we, capacitor is bigger than this. Oh yeah, we have some capacitors bigger than that. All right, so that's it for Take Apart Tuesday. Say goodbye, wave. <coughs> Bye. All right, next time. <laughs>